Yo, what is up, though? It's your boy NYC. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you on how to make your OBS Studio faster than ever. It doesn't have to be OBS Studio, it could be any OBS. So, yo, you wanna know how to do this? I'm your number one loopy geyser, so just stay tuned and watch this video. Lego! <laughs> So yo, in order to make your PC run faster, obviously we're gonna start by opening our OBS. My OBS is already open. Let me just drag it over here. It's already open. Um as you see right here, it shows a little bit of lag. Cause I have that to sync with my actual game. To not confuse you, let me turn that off. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the video. So first off, what you wanna do, you wanna click file, and you wanna go to settings. Let it open up. Now, remind you, I don't have the fastest computer, I have a laptop. But when I stream or when I record, there is no lag at all. I have a laptop, so you know when I have a laptop and you have a PC, your computer is definitely outbeating my computer. Now if I go right here on the general tab, you obviously want to choose your language and you want to, for me, I have my theme as dark. Everything else is towards your likings, you could do whatever you want right here. This is towards your likings on how you want it. Your output settings, I'll recommend leaving it the same. The streaming tab, this is my streaming tab. This is gonna be your personal streaming tab. So you're gonna, whatever you game you're streaming on is gonna be Twitch, YouTube, etc. That's what you wanna have your stream on. Now we're gonna go over to the output section. Now before I say something or before I start moving on with the video, I wanna say, Everything is gonna look different on your OBS due to many reasons. You may have an older OBS software or you may have a newer OBS. But everything right here should work about the same. But let's go ahead and move on with the video. Your output mode, you wanna have yours on advanced. Make sure it's on advanced. Now let's go over to the streaming tab for the streaming people. Your encoder, you wanna have it on X264. And right here on your rescale output, I have mine on 1280 by 720. I feel like if you're streaming on YouTube or you're streaming on Twitch, you should have yours on 1280 by 720. Your rate control should be CBR. I would just leave mine CBR. I'm not really familiar with that. So just leave yours at CBR. Your bit rate, this is where everything gets important from here down. Your bit rate, have it between 3000 or 5000. The higher bit rate, the higher it's gonna make it OBS. I would rec I won't recommend going higher than five thousand. Try four thousand. If four thousand not working enough for you, move that up to five thousand. Use custom buffer size. Leave this. Don't have this check and leave this at two for your keyframes. Now this is where everything is gonna go fast for you. Everything you're gonna see a whole big change right here. So not only your bitrate, but right here, this is what's important, your CPU usage. Since I don't have the best computer, I have mine at ultra fast. Try super fast. For you, try super fast. If super fast is not doing it enough for you, move this up to ultra fast. If ultra fast is not doing it enough for you, then you move your bitrate. But before you touch your bitrate, make sure you move this all the way to the highest CPU usage which is ultra fast and then start messing with your bitrate your profile leave it as main tune none and right here you want to type in open cl equals true this is gonna send something to your graphics card just type this in right here it's gonna make it slightly faster but remember what's the most important what you mostly want to change is this right here the lower it is then that means you have the best computer as bootlegged as your computer could be, then you're gonna move it all the way to the top and put ultra fast and then mess with your bitrate. 
head into the recording section side. It should be exactly similar, just a couple of tweaks. Make sure the output mode is on advanced, as always. Your type, leave it as standard. Wherever you want to save your recording file, that's where you have yours. I have mine on video. Um, ge Generate file name, you could check that on. Um, Your recording format, this is where everything starts to get nice for recordings. I remember recording with MP4. And I was wondering, like, yo, why can I stream so good? And I had, I don't have the goodest internet, and I don't have the best computer. But when it comes to recording, it, everything starts to lag. I always had my as well MP4. I recommend, highly recommend, yeah, do a test recording right here. But if MP4 recording is not doing it good for you, any good for you when you're recording, put this to FLV. Trust me when I say this. FLV is the best way to go. Now, yes, when you do have FLV, you will have to convert the file. Now, this is the best way, in my opinion. If you don't want to convert the file, then go MP4. And if your computer can handle MP4, then God bless you. But I put FLV. And me personally, what do I have? I have uh, FLV Extractor. So right here, I have it right here. FLV Extractor. And I just open a program, and then when you end your recording, you're just gonna bring this into your FLV extract. There's so many FLVs extract, as you see, I just drag it up, drag it, and drop it in here and just start it. That, should, that shouldn't take more than five seconds to convert the video to MP4. I will have an FLV extractor video down below in the description, just in case for you people that wanna convert your videos to MP4 after you have FLV. Your encoder as streaming, leave it at x264. Your rescale, I has how I had mine at 1280 by 720, the one I usually recommend. The rate control, CBR. Your bit rate, 4000. Bring this up how I said, 3000 through 5000 is the one I highly recommend for you guys. Don't go past 5000 because it can mess up your computer. Keep frame two. Your CPU usage, leave it at ultra fast. Well, I have mine at ultra fast. Start off at super fast. If super fast is not working, try ultra fast. <laughs> Everything else, copy, and it should be the same. My audio, this is towards your personal likings. I have mine at 320 because 320 is obviously the best audio. This is not gonna mess with none, nothing. It is gonna make your audio better. 160 I'll recommend 160 if you don't if you know you don't got the best mic but if you got a, a good mic just put yours to 320 then moving over to the audio tab um I have mine at 48 hertz because I know I got a good mic I have a blue and yeti so going over to the video tab you could copy this down if you want going over to the video tab this is what I have right here. You can copy this down towards your likings. This is now all your personal use. Hot keys, once again, I don't do none of this. For some people, they may use this because this is what they like. They like shortcuts. Me personally, I just like straightforward buttons. Advanced section, you want to make sure your general tab and the process priority. You want to make sure, not on normal, above normal. Your render, you want to keep it, um, I, for me, usually it works for Direct 3D 11. You could change yours to OPGL, but I leave mine at Direct 3D. Everything else you could just copy down and make it the same. I guess the automatically reconnect, just in case if you are streaming and you want it to reconnect, give it like a 10 second, 20 second. This is towards your personal likings, however you want. But the most important is the... The, the output tab on the streaming and recording and yeah that's it <laughs> and then I'm back over here to the main but yo folks on my next video I'll be showing you if you do have an agato and it crashes on you almost every single time even after having this OBS studio because your gaming software can sometimes crash on you it's probably not OBS no more it's just probably your uh, software but I'll be doing that another video. Make sure you definitely hit 
a like on this video. It'll definitely encourage me to hit puberty faster. Once I hit 500 likes on this video, I'll be doing an Agato giveaway for free for any system of your choice. And that could be for any game of your choice. Make sure you hit 500 likes on this video. Tell your mama, tell your grandma, tell your sister, tell your uncle, tell your aunt. <laughs> tell everybody, feel me? But yo, make sure you definitely hit that subscribe button, which will definitely encourage your boy NYC to post content like this to the money at the table. Yo, right next to that subscribe button, there should be a bell. Ring that shit, because I am your plug when it comes to your daily modding glitches, tutorials, etc. I am your loopy, guys, remember that. <laughs> but nevertheless, folks, that has been your boy NYC. And I'm out.